Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly verify any downloaded ISO for corruption. This might happen if you download the file from the direct link from any website, even if it's a legit website, it still might get corrupted during the download. And this happens because the file doesn't get downloaded as a single piece. Usually it gets downloaded like a lot of small pieces and then it gets glued back together. And if any pieces are missing, you might get a corrupted file. So today I'm going to show you how to avoid this issue in just a few seconds. So stay tuned and let's get started. I will demonstrate how to do it on the Manjaro ISO file that I have actually shown how to install Manjaro Linux recently. If you're interested, I'm going to put a link in the description. But anyway, it is handy to know because you can use this process for any other ISO file. So let's go ahead and do that. So after you have downloaded the ISO file that you need, go to the downloads folder. I'm going to be using the 7-zip program, which you can download from this website, 7-zip.org, and install it. It works on Windows 64 and 32-bit, as well as ARM64, and it works with various archive formats. So go ahead and click on this download button here, download the software, install it, and then use it to calculate the SHA-256 checksum. Just right-click on the ISO file you have downloaded, then go to 7-zip and choose CRC SHA and then choose SHA 256. It's going to calculate this SHA 256 checksum, which we need to compare to the one that's given on the website. Usually, you can find the SHA 256 checksum on the websites that's providing the ISO file. So just look around on the website, it should be pretty obvious where it is. Then copy it to the clipboard, open up a simple notepad then paste it, then open up the 7-zip calculated hash sum, double click on it, copy it, then go to the notepad, press Ctrl F, and then paste it, and just click find next. If it has highlighted this one here, that means it is a perfect match, and the file indeed has been downloaded successfully. If it doesn't match, that means that the file has been corrupted during the download, or the file that you have downloaded is not the same that was uploaded at the official website. So you need to re-download it and check it again or make sure that you download it from the proper source. Anyway, this is it. This is how it's done. It's very simple. It only takes a minute to do it, but it is very important because it's going to save you from other issues along the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please support it with the like. If you first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I'm gonna have a lot more interesting Linux videos in my channel, so make sure to subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please drop them down in the comment section below. Also, if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can use Super Thanks or just buy me a coffee. The links are in the description. And if you wanna learn more about Linux, you can check out my Linux playlist. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.